Some of the world's best video gamers are limbering up for the biggest ever eSports tournament. Taking place this weekend in New York, the winner of the Fortnite World Cup will pocket nearly two and a half million pounds. And as Joe Tidy reports, some of the competitors are still teenagers. It's the biggest gathering ever for the biggest game ever. The inaugural Fortnite World Cup whittled down 40 million wannabes to less than 200 finalists. Now it's time for the cream of the crop to fight for the titles. Some of the favourites are British, including Kyle Jackson, known online as Mongrel. It's a lot more serious than people think. It's not just playing the game for fun or whatever. You have to play like, consecutive months a lot every day. Like, you don't just get here from chance. Another contender is 15-year-old Benji Fish from Middlesex. Him and his teammate have both qualified as a duo and individually, meaning they're guaranteed $100,000 each before a single shot is fired. I think it'll be a bit different when I'm on the stage because I've never been on a huge stage like that before. I've only ever played in my bedroom. But right now, I'm, I, I'm really confident. Benji and his parents bet big on this sport. His mum and manager Anne decided to homeschool him so he could concentrate on Fortnite. Certainly when he, the potential of the World Cup came up, we knew he was going to be competing with guys that were going to be practicing for 10, 12 hours a day. So I wanted to give him the best opportunity. It's a sellout here at the Arthur Ashe Stadium with tens of thousands of fans expected over the weekend and potentially millions more online. It's also a big moment in the maker of Fortnite's history as they can finally say they're a big player in esports. According to analysts, the global esports market will exceed the billion dollar revenue mark this year. Almost all the finalists are boys under the age of 16, but some celebrities playing over the weekend include 13 year old rising star Ewok, who's made waves as the first major streamer who is deaf. Fortnite's rise to this point has not been without controversy. Prince Harry once called for it to be banned for being too addictive. But for these players, it's already changed their lives. And with the prizes on offer here, some are dreaming of even bigger things. Joe Tidy, BBC News, New York.